Uh, on to romanticism. And I'm going to be doing, oh, four or five things from this section. Uh, this, uh, this professor that I referred to, wrote this 1937 book, um, offers a, a sub summary of several of the tenets of romanticism. And forgive me, but I'm going to share these with you. There are four, and they are short. It is not the business of humans to understand and improve themselves, for such efforts are superfluous, for humans are good as they are if only we leave them alone. One. <laughs> Notice, presto, at, at a stroke, the Romantics have done away with the whole notion of Judeo-Christian guilt, which has been, we've been dragging on our backs since the Garden of Eden. Gone. Two. Uh, humans are naturally good and that our impulses are trustworthy. Three, that if humans will rely on their impulses, they will achieve the good life. And four, a poem is valuable because it enables us to share the experience of an individual has, who has let himself or herself go. The, uh, the first poem in that uh, genre I'm going to do is called by Charles, Charles Baudelaire. And I have recited this poem for years. It's called Get Drunk. And I thought that would appeal to a number of you in this audience this evening. If, if you insist. Eight little fingers, two little thumbs, look out, stomach, here it comes. Um, but I have a new uh, uh, way of looking at this since, since this, uh, this book that I've been reading. Anyway, uh, get drunk. <laughs> One should always be drunk. That's all that matters. The only question, not to feel the horrible burden of time weighing on your shoulders and bowing you to the earth. You must get drunk without ceasing. But drunk with what? with wine, with poetry, or with virtue, as you please, but get drunk. And if sometimes you should happen to wake on the stairs of a palace, on the green grass of a ditch, in the bleak solitude of your own room, and find your drunkenness is ebbing or has vanished, ask the wind, the wave, ask a star, a bird, or the clock. Ask everything that flies, everything that moans, everything that flows, everything that sings, everything that speaks. Ask them the time and the wind, the wave, the star, the bird, and the clock will reply. It's time to get drunk. <laughs> if you are not to be the martyred slaves of time, be perpetually drunk with wine, with poetry, or with virtue, as you please. Charles Baudelaire. Get drunk. What what do we think of that? I like it. At first it seems may seem frivolous. You just live like you want to live. Uh, it's it's kind of liberating. But then there's the other side to it, the the uh, the, the notion of this oppressive uh, mortality that plagues the species, you know, we're gonna die. And uh, the horrible burden of time. And I, uh, the, the two references to that in there. So, uh, you know, each of us has got to orient ourselves towards the non-existence of ourselves, and that's that's a tough sledding. But I think the the most important thing is is, is makes behavior utterly relative to the whims of the individual. A theme that we're going to continue with here.